At the end of the day, the tents are set up for you to use. However, a lot of folks like to sleep out in the open and enjoy the stars at night. Either way, you will go to sleep knowing that you did something special today. Most campsites are totally wild, providing no more infrastructure than that found on the vehicle. On breaking camp, we leave nothing but footprints. And as the sun dips, revealing the great African sky, we settle down on the edge of the pans, camping wild. Sitting on this toilet one day, and I looked over. And I was like, oh my gosh, monkey is nice view when we brush our teeth in the morning. This is the shower in here, which we've all been talking about, as it has a clear bottom. See down to the next floor, there's Jay. Hi, Jay! is right here you can watch monkeys. You can watch monkeys jumping from tree to tree to tree. That's something you look at and you go, that can't be real. You go, that can't be real. <laughs> okay, this is our home here. The family lived together in a group of six huts. Ah, oh, that's your brother. Yeah, that's my brother. Lissy's husband, Aseya, is 26 years old. And the couple live here with their 18-month-old son, Boaz. Okay, this is the house where you live. Okay. okay. Becky, who lives alone back home, will share a room with Barbara. Okay, this is our room. Oh, excellent, okay. Yeah. The family sleep on mats on the floor of the hut. Whose bed? This is yours. So we have our own room, that's nice. Yeah, this is our room. Okay. Yeah. Nature calls, and Barbara shows Becky to the loo. Just build a small house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just go, what, what is down there? Big hole. It's a, it's a bit different to my one at home. Oh, yeah. But it's yeah, very, very, uh, big, dear friend. very, very yeah. uh, functional.
We are a small bed and breakfast. We have four bedrooms, two upstairs and two downstairs. They are all decorated according to the period, but with your comfort in mind, of course. And we also have the modern amenities of today, you know, TV, cable, DVD, and wireless internet. I think what makes our bed and breakfast really unique is we serve you a three course full gourmet breakfast. And what's unique about it is we can start you off with a fruit dish and then we move on to an egg dish such as our three cheese souffle, which is really delightful and that's paired with sweet potato pancakes. Another unique combination there, but it is totally, totally heaven in your mouth. When our guests come into our B&B, they can expect warmth, they can expect to be welcomed like their family, and they can expect superb cuisine, comfortable lodging, and gracious hospitality. Welcome to President's Quarters Inn, a wonderfully traditional yet modern bed and breakfast located in the heart of the historic district on beautiful Oglethorpe Square. The Info 16 really spacious bedrooms and four of the bedrooms have beautiful balconies that overlook our courtyard, which is beautiful any time of the year, but especially in the spring and the fall when all the flowers are in bloom. You can sit out there and enjoy your coffee in the morning or enjoy a cordial in the evening and relax and look out over beautiful Oglethorpe Square. We do a full breakfast each morning, prepared daily uh, by our chef, plus our wonderful continental with homemade granola, fresh fruit, homemade breakfast breads. We do uh, a wonderful wine and hors d'oeuvre time in the afternoon with homemade hors d'oeuvres. A wonderful turn down service in the evening with cordials in our parlor and some kind of homemade treat, usually something chocolate and yummy on your pillow. We're the only inn in the city with enough parking for all our guests. So all of those amenities are included in the price of your room. Plus, we have the elevator, we offer Wi-Fi, so we really feel very comfortable about the generous amenity package that we offer to each guest who stays with us, regardless of whether they're traveling for leisure or own business. Come to Savannah. Let us spoil you. Come linger with us and see what this city has to offer. See how special a stay at the President's Quarters can be with a welcoming staff who truly enjoy what they do with a welcoming staff who truly enjoy what they do. Hi, I'm Larry, this is my brother Daryl, and that's my other brother Daryl. So, uh, how you doing? Okay, except I throwed my back out last week crawling under a house. Sounds like a tough job. Wasn't a job, I just like crawling under houses with a welcoming staff who truly enjoy what they do. Well, Dick, there was that dead possum out by the well. We'll take it. <laughs> Here. Here. And love the opportunity to show off the city and to make you feel special. We're waiting to have you come and visit, so call us now.